In this video, I'm going to show you how to save Dynadesk recording. So this is actually quite simple. All you have to do is first open up your Dynadesk and first record something. So I'm going to press record and I'm going to record two clicks and that's it. And then if you want to save this recording, you want to press over here to where it says save. If you click this, it will ask you where you want to save it. For example, I'm going to do desktop and I'm going to name it first recording. Okay. Then you want to press save. And just like this, as you can see, your recording will be saved to your desktop, which is this over here. Now, if I were now to close down my tiny task program and open this up, it will again ask which app you would like to open this with. Now you will have to choose app on your PC and I have tiny task under my downloads. So I'm going to go to downloads, click on it and open it and then do just once. And as you can see, uh, the recording was now opened. If I now click play, it will do the exact same procedure. So you can also open it another way. And that is by using the tiny task program itself. You want to simply press open up here, find your recording, which is on the desktop in my instance, click it and press open. So that's the basic. And if you want to save the recording as an exe file, so whenever you open it up, you can simply run it as a program and it will instantly run whatever recording you've done. You can save it by exe file. So where it says dot exe, click on it and then simply name it. So yet again, we're going to name this recording and we're going to save the desktop and press save. And as you can see, it says compile successful. And if I now press OK, this recording was saved here to my screen, as you can see. Now, if I now click on this, it will automatically do the kind of the mouse pattern I did earlier using tiny task. So if I double click, as you can see, it did this with a mouse without me doing a single thing. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can save tiny task recordings. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.